Hello, and welcome to Orchestra's How-To Series. Uh, today, we're going to be discussing landed cost corrections. Um, for example, you do a landed cost for a goods receipt, and then you receive a corrected invoice from the broker. So, you need to adjust the landed cost. Um, and this actually is very simple to do in SAP Business One, and I'm going to show you how. So, we go into our purchasing, select landed cost, and select the vendor that the goods receipt was for. In this case, we'll do Acme. And now we're going to do copy from, but instead of choosing goods receipt like we would for a normal landed cost, we're going to say copy from landed costs. And I'm going to get a list of every goods receipt that has an active landed cost applied to it. So, dun -dun 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 -dun. let's just choose our first one. Um, as we see here, we had a landed cost total uh, insurance charge of $500, and that should have really been uh, $700. So we make the correction, and note that I did it for $700, not for the $200 difference. When you do a corrected landed cost, you just do the new landed cost for the correct amount. The system will automatically make the appropriate adjustments. So now we zip back to our items. We can see that the allocations have changed, and we're now good to go. So I'm going to say add. Sure, I want to add this document. Yes. Now let's go look at the journal this creates. Now I put in $700, but it only made a $200 correction. Um, it took the inventory that was currently in stock and applied it correctly. Any inventory not in stock. Um, gets allocated to expense and an additional two hundred dollars worth of cost is added now the reason it does this instead of reapplication and reversal of everything is that for example you applied the five hundred dollars to inventory and you've already sold some of that inventory um, that inventory had the cost of the original landed cost associated with it when it went out the door um, that cannot be changed so it only makes the incremental adjustment. This way, if your inventory levels change between landed cost adjustments, it's still all accounted for correctly. Okay, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, uh, p please feel free to give us a call at 559-477-4256. Or we can be reached on the web at www.orchestrateam.com. Um, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.